I ended up in the U.S. by being adopted from South Korea at the age of three. I thought I was a citizen until 2012. In, in this particular case, I don't feel that it's fair to deport me. Some critics take the view that this is piecemeal immigration stuff. Some people say, no, this is a human rights issue. The United Nations calls this a human rights violation. My first set of adoptive parents uh, were evangelistic Christians, I guess. They incorporated a lot of corporal punishment into uh, their discipline. A lot of these adoptees were physically, emotionally, and sexually abused, and nobody was there to protect them. And so I feel that between the state and the federal government, they failed these adoptees gravely. As an adult, I ended up breaking into my parents' home to get my Korean Bible and my rubber shoes that came with me from Korea, uh, sentenced for, to 25 months for that. He went to get his green card renewed, and the fact that he had a felony of serving 25 months in prison is what caused the deportation process. You know, identity's been kind of a tough one for me. After being here for 38 years, I would consider myself as an American. That's what I worked the hardest to become. And now I have the same task in front of me to try to reverse that and try to become the most believable Korean I guess I can be. He doesn't speak a word of Korean. He'll have to learn the language. He'll have to go through the cultural assimilation. As an immigrant to live and work and survive in Korea. I have little kids that depend on me. I have a family that depends on me. You know, I have to try to keep our family together. I have to work my butt off so I can try to get my family over there with me um, so we can continue to live a life. That's all anybody can do in this situation. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.